Hello everyone, welcome to the band stories channel. Here you will find incredible musical stories. Get ready to be moved by unique and captivating versions of your favorite songs. If you're passionate about music and love discovering new interpretations, this is the right place for you. So, don't waste any time and subscribe to the band stories channel so you don't miss any of our exciting music videos. Let's start this musical journey together. The history of the Coldplay band began in 1996, when lead singer and pianist Chris Martin and guitarist Johnny Buckland met at the University of London. The two began playing together and soon joined bassist Guy Berryman and drummer Will Champion. The band began playing in small clubs and festivals, and released their first EP, Safety in Numbers, in 1998. The following year, they changed the band's name to Coldplay, and released their debut studio album, Parachutes, in 2000. Parachutes was a commercial and critical success, and earned the band several awards, including the Brit Award for Best Rock Album and the Grammy Award for Best Alternative Rock Album. The album was driven by the single Yellow, which became a worldwide hit. In 2002, Coldplay released their second studio album, A Rush of Blood to the Head. The album was even more successful than Parachutes, and earned the band two Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. The album was driven by the singles Clocks and In My Place, Duh. In 2005, Coldplay released their third studio album, XY. The album was a commercial success, but was not as well received by critics as its predecessors. The album was driven by the single Speed of Sound and Fix You. In 2008, Coldplay released their fourth studio album, Diva La Vida or Death and All His Friends. The album was a return to the band's roots and was well received by critics and audiences alike. The album was driven by the singles Viva La Vida and Violet Hill. In 2011, Coldplay released their fifth studio album, Milo Ziloto. The album was an experiment with new sounds, and was a commercial and critical success. The album was driven by the singles Paradise and Charlie Brown. In 2014, Coldplay released their sixth studio album, Ghost Stories. The album was a return to the band's more melancholic sound, and was a commercial and critical success. The album was driven by the singles Magic and Midnight. In 2015, Coldplay released their seventh studio album, A Head Full of Dreams. The album was a return to the band's more optimistic sound and was a commercial and critical success. The album was driven by the singles Adventure of a Lifetime and Him for the Weekend. In 2019, Coldplay released their eighth studio album, Everyday Life. The album was a return to the band's more acoustic sound, and was a commercial and critical success. The album was driven by the singles Sunrise and Orphans. Coldplay is one of the most popular rock bands in the world. They have sold over 100 million albums worldwide, and have won numerous awards, including nine Grammy Awards. The band is known for its melodic and uplifting music, and for its energetic live performances. Here are some of the key milestones in Coldplay's history. 1996, Chris Martin and Johnny Buckland meet at the University of London and form a band. 1998, Guy Berryman and Will Champion join the band. 2000, release of debut studio album. Parachutes, 2002, release of second studio album, A Rush of Blood to the Head Point 2005, release of third studio album, XY, 2008, release of fourth studio album, Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends, 2011, release of fifth studio album, Milo Ziloto, Point 2014, release of sixth studio album, Ghost Stories, Point 2015, Release of 7th Studio Album, A Head Full of Dreams, 2019, Release of 8th Studio Album, Everyday Life, Coldplay, continues to be one of the most popular bands in the world, and there. Music continues to inspire and touch people all over the world.